how to solve for x and y from this given problem x square minus y is equal to 111 y square minus x is equal to 111 provided x is not equal to y solution x square minus y is equal to 111 let's call this equation 1 y square minus s is equal to 1 1 1 let's call this equation 2 then we can subtract equation 1 from equation 2 that is s square minus y minus y square minus s is equal to 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 s square minus y minus y square plus s is equal to zero now we can compare this we have a square a and y square here this is a square minus y square plus x minus y is equal to zero a square minus y square is in form of perfect square which can be written as s plus y multiplied by s minus y plus s minus y is equal to zero then if you look at this s minus y is common let's bring it out s minus y bracket if you divide this by this we have s plus y and if you divide this by this we have one is equal to zero there are two cases here the first case and the second case the first case is s minus y is equal to zero therefore s is equal to y and the second case is s plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 but from here the question says x is not equal to y therefore s is equal to y is undefined since s is not equal to y then we consider this s plus y if you take this one to the other side it become minus one let's call this equation three now let's add equation one and two together add equation one and two s square minus y plus y square minus s is equal to one 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 plus one 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 a square plus y square minus x minus y is equal to two 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 then a square plus y square will be equal to two 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 plus s plus y but we know that x plus y is equal to minus one then a square plus y square is equal to 2 2 2 plus minus 1 s square plus y square is equal to 2 2 1 let's call this equation 4 from equation 3 that is s plus y is equal to minus 1 let's square both sides s plus y square is equal to minus 1 square this is equal to 1 then we know that from this exponential rule that we know from this rule that s plus y square this is equal to s square plus 2 s y plus y square so
so which is equal to one then therefore we have s square plus two s y plus y square is equal to one then s square plus y square plus two s y is equal to one but s square plus y square is equal to two two one from equation four then we have two two one plus two s y is equal to one two s y is equal to one minus two two one then two s y is equal to minus two two zero let's divide both sides by two divided by two this we cancel this two year one two year one 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 zero one one zero then s y is equal to minus one one zero so let's make y the subject of the formula divided by x divided by s then this we cancel this y is equal to minus one one zero over x let's call this equation five from equation theory s plus y is equal to minus one then we know that y is equal to minus one 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 over x this is s plus minus one one zero over s is equal to minus one then if you cross multiply s square minus one one zero is equal to minus x s square plus s minus one one zero is equal to zero this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula or factorization method but in this case let's make use of factorization method factorization method the product must be equal to minus one one zero this is equal to minus 10 multiplied by 11 this is equal to minus one one zero and the sum is equal to minus 10 plus 11 this is equal to 1 now let's substitute here we have s square minus 10 s plus 11 s minus 110 is equal to 0 then s bracket s minus 10 plus 11 bracket s minus 10 is equal to 0 now s minus 10 is common here we have s minus 10 bracket s plus 11 is equal to 0 then there are two cases here the first case is s minus 10 is equal to 0 therefore s is equal to 10 and from the second case s plus 11 is equal to 0 therefore s is equal to minus 11 since we've gotten the value of s which is equal to 10 let's call this x1 and s is equal to minus 11 then we can solve for y but y is equal to minus 110 over x when x s1 is equal to what 10 then y will be equal to minus 110 over 10 this will cancel this y is equal to minus 11 let's call this y1 also when s2 is equal to 
minus 11 y will be equal to minus 110 over x y is equal to minus 110 over minus 11 y is equal to 10 let's call this y2 therefore our final answers are x comma y is equal to 10 comma minus 11 or s comma y is equal to minus 11 comma 10 this is the final answer